In this video here, we're going to take a look at measuring correlation. So if we have data for two variables, then we can find the product moment correlation coefficient. And we shorten this here to the PMCC. So the PMCC describes a linear correlation between two variables. And we use R to represent the PMCC for a sample of data. So what values here can we take for the PMCC? R in this case, well, we can take values between minus one. And we include the minus one here up to positive one. And again, include this value here as well. Let's just make some notes here. So if r is equal to minus one here, then what we're saying now is that we have perfect negative linear correlation. This is perfect negative. We have perfect negative linear correlation. Okay, and now r is equal to positive one here. And what we've got here is perfect positive linear correlation. So we've got perfect positive linear correlation. Write this down in full here. So the closer that r is to minus one or one, then the stronger the negative or positive correlation is respectively, okay? So now what about if r is equal to zero here? So if r is equal to zero here, then what we say now is we have no linear correlation. So no linear, no linear correlation there. What we should state here is that there could still be a nonlinear relationship between the two variables in this case. Okay, so if r is equal to zero, we just say that there's no linear correlation. And then finally here, our last note to make then. So if r is equal to plus or minus one here, if r is equal to minus one or r is equal to positive one, then all the points here lie on a straight line. So all points lie on a straight line. Okay. So let's just do a quick um, few sketches here. So these won't be perfect. Um, we'll just have a look now at a few different types of correlation here. So this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis here. So now let's take a look here if r equals 1. So in this case here, like we just said, all the points would lie on a straight line. So do an example here. Like I said, it won't be perfect. It'll look something like this. Okay, now you can see all my points here just lie on a straight line. So that would be an example there where the correlation here is equal to one or r is equal to one. So I should say the product moment correlation coefficient is equal to one. So now let's take a look here. So let me just try and do those axes again. Not the neatest, uh, so let's give it another go. That's my x-axis here. This is my y-axis. So now in this case here, let's do r equals minus one. The PMCC here is equal to minus one. So again, all the points here will lie on a straight line. We're now gonna start here in the top left and work our way down to the bottom right. Okay, and it'll look something like this, for example. So again, all these points here lie on a straight line. So it'll look something like this here, okay? That's an example there where the PMCC is equal to minus one. And then finally here, let's take a look now when R equals zero. So again, if you're doing this, do use a ruler. I'm making mine look a little bit um, messy here. There you go.
There we go. My X axis. This is my Y axis here. So now, if R equals zero here, and like we said, there's no linear correlation. So it might look, say, something like this here. There's no kind of discernible pattern. Something like that. Okay. So no linear correlation in this case. So the final question here is now, how do we actually find the PMCC? So for A-level maths, the good news is you don't have to do this by hand. We use our calculator to find the PMCC. What we're going to do now, is just take a look at a practice question here where we use our calculator to find the PMCC. If we take a look now at this practice question here, we've got Carl who records data for two variables, X and Y. So the data that Cal records is given in this table here below. So for the first part here, we have to calculate the product moment correlation coefficient, the PMCC, for this data, giving our answer to three significant figures. So let's do the first part up here. So just remember here, the product moment correlation coefficient must be between minus one and one. So R is between minus one and positive one here. Okay, so that's the first kind of idea here. So our answer is going to be between minus one and one. Now, like we mentioned in the introduction, to find the PMCC here for A-level maths, we just need to use our calculator. So, for this you're going to need either a scientific calculator or a graphical calculator. In my case here, I'm using a graphical calculator. But what I'll do is I'll walk through how I do it on my calculator, uh, but it might be ever so slightly different on yours, but it should be pretty similar. So the first thing that we're going to do here is go into stats mode. So let's just make a note of this as we work through. So let's begin with here, you need stats mode. So stats mode here on your calculator. Once you're in stats mode then, on mine, what I get here is I get a load of lists. So I get list one, I get list one, and I've got list two, and I've got list three, and so on. Okay. So what you need to do now is think about this data here as two lists. So the X variable here, that's going to be list one. My Y variable here, that's going to be list two. So for list one, then what you're going to do here is just insert all these X values here. I've got 4.7. And then if you're going to have 7.2, under that you're going to have 5.6. Under that you're going to have 6.0 and so on. Okay. You keep going here until you get to 10.2. That would be your last value here, the list one. So now we've got list two here, which would be the Y values here. So we're now going to insert all the Y values here. So I get 3.6, we then, got, then get 6.8, then get 7.4, and so on again. Okay. And that will keep going here to the very last value, which is 9.1. Obviously, we've only got two variables here, so that's our two lists. You don't need to worry about any of the further lists here. So list three, list four, and so on. Just ignore those, keep them blank. So once you've inserted all the values here, what you need to do now is click calc. So we click calc here on mine. From calc, then what we do is we click reg, which stands for regression. I click calc, then I click reg. So then what I click here is X. Got a capital X like that. There's a few other options here. You've got med, um, there's x squared, x cubed, x to the four, and so on. We just want x here. Okay. And then finally, what you do here, and on my calculator, what I get here is I get two options, and it actually doesn't matter which of these two options here you click. So you've got a choice now of either ax plus b, or you're gonna have a plus bx. Like I said. It really doesn't matter which of these two here that you click. I normally just click A plus BX, but like I said, it really doesn't matter. You'll get the same value here for the PMCC, no matter which of these two you press here. So click either of those now, and this would give us our PMCC here. So what you'll get here is a few different values. So on my calculator here, I get A, I get B, I get R, I get R squared, and I get M, S, E. Okay, the only, the only one that you actually want here is R. Okay, that gives us the PMCC. Remember, we use R here to represent the PMCC. So, 
make sure now that you obviously round your answer here to three significant figures. And in this case here, what I get for R to three significant figures, I get 0.85 over there. Okay. In that case, then for A here, we get R equals 0.854 there. Okay. That's two, three significant figures here. So there we have it. So that's the solution to A there. And like you can see, it's quite straightforward. Just find the PMCC using your calculator. So then finally, here we've got B. So for B here, it says, with reference to your answer in part A, briefly comment on the suitability of a linear regression model for this data. So what we're checking here is basically, is our value for the PMCC close to either minus one or positive one? Because we've got positive correlation here, I'm gonna check now whether this is close to one. Well, I've got 0.854, and we'd say that's pretty close to one. So what I'm gonna say here is 0.854, our value for R found in part A, so 0.854, is close to one. So what we can say here then is the data value show a strong positive correlation. I'm going to write this down in full here. So the data values show a strong positive correlation. They show a strong positive correlation and therefore what we can say then is a linear regression model is suitable. So a linear regression model is suitable. Okay. And there we have it. So that's all we're looking for there in part B. So just checking whether our um, value that we found in part A is close to either minus one if we have negative um, or a negative value for the PMCC or if it's going to be close to one if we have a positive PMCC value. And there we have it, so that's the solution there to that practice question. And that's what we can see at the end of this video on measuring correlation.